What's up, doll collectors, gift givers, and miniature enthusiasts? I've been doing a little shopping on Amazon. I've just been gathering stuff over the last few months, finding things I want to try out. Like Koragu handmade doll dresses. And there are a lot on Amazon, with prices fluctuating around $14.99 each. Each dress is individually packaged in a resealable bag. On the front, it says Koragu, not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, handmade doll dress, the best for the best. On the back, we have a few lovely warnings here. Choking hazard, do not put in mouth and eyes. Contain small part, not suitable for children under three years, for use under adult supervision. Stay away from fire. This product line contain also processed items containing plush chemical fibers and plastic accessories. Allergic caution. Please remove all packaging, including tags, ties, and tacking stitches before giving this product to a child. To avoid any danger of suffocation, keep away from babies and children. Do not use in cribs, beds, carriages, or playpens. This bag is not a toy. You've been warned. And if needed, we need to wash this by hand. Now let's try these on. Now, me, if only me, we had someone me, who could me. try on the clothes. Me. Okay, Mini Toya, you can do it. Yes! These dresses use snaps in the back. I wouldn't go just pulling them apart. I use my fingernail to help open them. The dress opens up completely. We can see that the skirt is made with sections of stacked circles creating this really cool kind of layered ruffle in the front. On the doll, the ruffles are nice and dense, so you can't really see through it, even though this is a see-through fabric. But this design does create a lot of little slits. On this dress, the top crosses in the front. We do have some folding on the side and some glitter details on the other. It's a little looser than I would like, so I do have to make sure it's up. But I do love how easy it is to take off the dress. So we can try it on other dolls, like our Integrity Toys dolls, and it fits them pretty good. However, on our Curvy Barbie, it's bunching a little at the waist, and I was only able to use two of the snaps in the back. So she is currently experiencing a little draft. On this dress, the satin material at the top doesn't have a lot of give, so let's try another one. This is a fuchsia and magenta colored dress. The top is full lace. It still doesn't have a lot of stretch, and we have sleeves this time. On the curvy Barbie, I was able to close it in the back, but it's all bunched up in the front. So as of right now, I probably won't use these on my curvies. On a classic Barbie, it's smoothed out. The skirt is very full, totally giving off some princessy vibes here. Perfect for prom or a photo shoot. This dress is hot pink and orange. Layering the colors makes a really cool effect. The top is hot pink with orange stitching. Very vivid colors, your doll is sure to stand out in a crowd. Especially with this dress. You want color? You got it. We have two shades of pink, blue, purple, green, and yellow. With a multicolored top. When I first saw this dress, I was kind of on the fence. I thought it was a little loud for me, but I'm kind of liking it. This is totally going to be my birthday dress this year. Or should I go with pastels? The netting on the skirt is like a white, a peach, and a mint green. The multicolored top brings all the colors together in a watercolor kind of feel. This dress is cut similar to the other ones, only it's not pinched in the center. So it is a little looser at the top, but not a problem at all for like photography and things like that. So, so far, all of the dresses have been pretty similar. We have a fitted top with a netted layered skirt. And there are some slight differences with the tops. Like this one, which only has one shoulder. With some bronze metallic stitching. When I saw this dress online, I thought it was black, but it's actually navy blue. So, yeah. Okay now, what is this? 
This is a mermaid style dress and it's very, very full at the bottom. They use that same circle layering technique with the netting and there's a lot. The dress is fitted to about the knee. It looks like there is lace woven into the fabric. The print continues all the way around and there are two snaps in the back. I feel like this is full on glam, very pretty, especially at $14.99 price point. Looks just as great on our Integrity Toy Dolls. And I was able to get it on the Curvy. However, it did take a little bit of effort, a little bit of patience, especially trying to get it past those hips. It is very snug, so be careful when sitting down. We have the same style dress in red with embroidered details. Very pretty, perfect for a Valentine's Day ball. And I love the fact that it goes all the way around. This one is pink and purple but I can totally see through it. Yep, totally see through. There is a large flower embroidered on the front and on the back with green and gray details, which kind of distracts the eye from the fact that we can totally see through the bottom. I did pick up a few casual items. Back in October, I bought this. It was titled You You Save Lot 14 Accessories Four Sets Handmade Doll Outfits Fashion Casual. Priced at $15.99. We have jean shorts, a sweater, and a hoodie. The shorts are made with real denim. They have stitched on detail. They look like they're rolled up at the bottom. Kind of a snug fit on the classic Barbie body. However, she is able to sit down without the Velcro opening in the back. Let's try on the hoodie. It has giant pom-pom aglets. They are not functional, and I wouldn't have mind if they were a little smaller. I'm seeing a couple of rogue threads and some, like, debris. It's like shedding or something. The bottom is sewn in the back. Then there is some Velcro up on the upper back and the back of the neck. So this is going to have to be pulled over the doll's head. I am not overly excited about this because I have a feeling that all of that debris is going to be stuck in my doll's hair. Yeah. Uh, now I get to pick all of that out. For the most part, it fits. I do think it's a little short on the sleeves. It does have a pocket in front, which is functional. Minus the shedding, it's a pretty decent white hoodie. I would like to remove those giant pom-poms, however but that's just my personal preference. We have a pink sweater. It has a nice amount of stretch. There is no opening in the back. It's a sweater dress. You can totally get away with wearing the sweater by itself. It's off the shoulders and was pretty easy to get on. Another outfit going into my Valentine's Day wardrobe. Up next, we have a black pleated skirt, very snug around the waist. You can see a little bit of the Velcro in the back. I believe it was meant to go with this little black uniform top, which has no way to open it. This fabric has no give and might be impossible to put on a doll without articulated arms. My doll has a custom face paint and I'm a little worried about messing it up. So we're probably gonna just stop here. Oh wait, I got it. However, it's not really my favorite piece. The last clothing item is a long coat. It has a zipper up the front and fur around the hood. I'm not a huge fan of the fur. It is shedding a little. We have exposed seams on the inside. So let's move on to a different fashion pack. This one is called Eating Handmade Doll Clothes. It was priced at $10.79. I've seen some of these items on some of my favorite doll accounts on Instagram. Let's check this one out. It is a one piece and there is some pretty clean stitching on the inside. It was pretty easy to get on the doll, has a loose fit, a little peekaboo opening at the top, Velcro's neatly in the back. Honestly, not terrible for this price point. However, this is a dark fabric, so you do need to keep an eye on it for staining. The pants are nice and long with a slight boot cut at the bottom. The second outfit is a black and white skirt. 
decent fabric with a lot of texture and a black top with sheer sleeves. The shirt completely opens in the back with Velcro, which makes it pretty easy to get on. However, be very careful about that Velcro because it can snag this material. The last outfit from this fashion pack is a soft peachy pink top with puff sleeves and black hearts and a black pleated skirt. The skirt is a little sheer, especially in light, but I think the peachy pink top is kind of cute. So we got three outfits for $10. I think they're pretty cute. My only concern is all of the black material and possible staining. I found these Barbie fashion packs for $9.99 each, a wedding dress for Barbie, and a black suit for Ken. This is a wedding dress fashion pack with all the trimmings. A silver colored tiara and veil, a silver metallic necklace, a pink plastic rose bouquet, a silver colored bracelet, a white dress with clear straps. It is white lace over a satin-like material. There is a black ribbon around the waist and she wears pink translucent shoes. Personally, I would have liked for the tiara to have a metallic finish and I'll probably use this as a fun summer dress. Can't you imagine frolicking through a field of wildflowers? The Kin Fashion Pack comes with all sorts of stuff, like a black suit for our custom Trevor Noah. There is a ribbon at the neck for a bow tie. I do have to work at keeping the lapels down. It Velcros in the front, and the shirt and the jacket are one piece. He has separate black pants, black dress shoes, a watch, silver colored sunglasses, pink roses, a pink gift box with a printed bow that can open, and the option of two different wedding cakes, a pink one and a white one. They are both about the same size, so I wouldn't stack them. Wow, most of the stuff I bought was for me. I probably should have bought something for my mini husband. Oh, I know! My mini hubby is currently being played by an Integrity Toys doll, and I don't have a lot of clothes for him to wear. Kin clothes are sometimes a little short. So I bought this 1 6 scale action figure hoodie. The brand is listed as Monkey Jack. It was $37.99, so it was a little pricey, but we got a complete outfit right down to the shoes. So we have a hoodie that zips up in the front, black denim pants with pockets, a white t-shirt, a belt with a buckle, a beanie, and a pair of shoes with laces. The shoes are kind of hard. They have painted details. Ah, it is difficult to get his heels past the cuffs in the pants, but it can be done. The pants Velcro in the front. The shirt has no opening, but it is pretty stretchy, but it is nice and long. We are actually putting on a miniature belt and using the belt loops. Okay, this is too much. The details here are super cool. We have pockets in the front. They are real pockets, so they are lined and they stop. There are pockets in the back. Those are also real pockets. Then we have a gray hoodie. It does have little strings at the top. They are functional. We have pockets and a working zipper. I'm gonna switch out my Barbie Puma hat. All right. I think this is a very cool outfit. Lots of detail, definitely on the collector level and a great fit for our Integrity Toy guys. So overall, I think the Barbie clothes are consistent with the brand. The Eating fashions are worth taking a look at and the Cora Goo dresses, please forgive me if I'm saying that wrong, are a fun value option. And this one six scale outfit is my favorite buy for today. Really? Because I'm in like a gown here and he's walking around in a sweatshirt hoodie. But it's a nice sweatshirt hoodie. Thank you for joining us for another Amazon haul. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye! Oh,